Hi guys, another lesson tayo. That is grade 7 math, quarter 2, module 4. Laws of exponents. So ang previous lesson natin is about addition and subtraction of polynomials. Before tayo mag-proceed sa multiplication and division, pag-aaralan muna natin ang laws of exponents dahil ito ang gagamitin natin sa ating multiplication at division of polynomials. Laws of exponents. Exponents follow certain rules that help in simplifying exponential expression which are also called its power. So meron tayo yung limang law. So, ang first law natin is product of a power, second power of a power, third power of a product, third quotient of a power, fifth is power of a quotient. So, iisa-isahin natin itong law na ito para maintindihan natin. Uunahin natin itong product of a power. So, product of a power, so multiply two exponents with the same base, you keep the base and add the exponent. So, x raised to the power of a multiplied by x raised to the power of b is equal to x a plus b. Dahil i-add lang natin ang exponent kasi meron tayong magkaparehong base. So, for example, 2 cubed multiplied by 2 squared. So, meron silang magkaparehong base. So, ang gagawin natin is kopyahin lang natin si 2 and then i-add natin ang kanyang exponent which is 2 and 3. So, 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 2 equals 2, 3 plus 2 equals 5. And 2 raised to the power of 5 is equal to 32. Kasi 2 raised to the power of 5 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, you multiply mo siya 5 times. Another example, 2x cubed multiplied by 3x squared. So, ang gagawin natin is multiply natin itong ating numerical coefficient, which is 2 and 3. So, that is 6. And then, we have the same variable x. So, kopihan natin si x. And then, i-add natin ang kanyang exponent, which is 3 plus 2. So, ang sagot natin, o, oh, 3 plus 2. So, ang sagot natin is 6x raised to the power of 5. Second law is power of a power. To raise a power to another power, multiply the inner and the outer exponents. So just like this one, a x raised to the power of a multiplied by power of b is equal to x a b. For example, x raised to the power of 4 squared. So x 4 times 2. So x 4 times 2 equals 8. Ayan. And the next is... So, meron tayong 3 cubes sa loob at meron ding cubes sa labas. So, 3 cubed, 3, so, i-multiply natin ang dalawang exponent. 3 times 3 equals 9. So, 3 raised to the power of 9 is equal to 19,683. Ayan. So, you I-multiply nyo na lang ang 3, 9 times. So, ang sagot niya is 19,683. And lastly, a raised to the power of 2x, y. So, a, 2x multiplied by y. So, equals a, yung a parang 9. a, 2x, y. Ayan, kita ba? Ang pangit ng a. Third law is power of a product. In raising product to a certain power, each factor is raised to the indicated power. So just like this one, si x is erased mo sa power ni a at si y is erased mo sa power ni a. For example, 3 times 5 squared. So si 3 times 5 squared, kasi lahat ng factor is erased mo into a certain or into an indicated power. So magiging 3 squared multiplied by 5 squared. So, 3 squared is equal to 9. And 5 squared is equal to 25. And 9 times 25 is equal to 225. Next is 3p squared cubed. So, oops, sorry. So, 3 cubed and then p squared cube. Ayan. Again, 3 cube p squared 2 multiplied by 3. 3 cube equals 27 and then 2 times 3 equals p raised to the power of 6. 
Last example, a squared b cubed, x plus 3. So, a squared multiplied by x plus 3, and then b cubed multiplied by x plus 3. So, a, 2 times x equals 2x, and 2 times 3 equals plus 6. So, a raised to the power of 2x plus 6. And then b, 3 times x equals 3x plus 3 times 3 equals 9. So, yan na yung sagot natin. Fourth law is quotient of a power. When dividing powers with the same base, exponents are subtracted. So, meron tayong tatlong instances kung saan, paano natin i-subtract yung exponent. So, letter A, x raised to the power of A divided by B raised to the power of B. So, kapag ang exponent Kapag ang exponent ng numerator is mas malaki kaysa exponent ng denominator, ang gagawin natin is isubtract lang natin, kopyahin natin yung base kasi may magkaparehong base sila, and isubtract natin ang kanilang exponent. So, 2 raised to the power of 6 divided by 2 raised to the power of 4. So, magiging 2, isubtract lang natin ang exponent, that is 6 minus 4. So, 2, 6 minus 4 equals 2. So, 2 squared is equal to 4. Another instance is... Kapag ang exponent ng ating numerator is mas maliit kaysa sa ating exponent ng denominator. So, for example, 2 raised to the power of 4 divided by 2 raised to the power of 6. So, ang gagawin natin is subtract pa rin natin ang ating exponents pagkatapos. So, that is 2, 4 minus 6 is equal to 2 raised to the power of negative 2 kasi 4 minus 6 is equal to negative 2. So, ang gagawin natin para mawala itong negative natin is ilagay natin siya sa baba. So, magiging 1 over 2 squared. So, ang sagot natin is 1, 2 squared is equal to 4. 1 fourth. Ayan. Next is, kapag ang ating exponent ng numerator at exponent ng denominator is equal, so, ang gagawin natin, m6 minus 6 is equal to m raised to the power of 0. And m raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Kasi any number raised to the power of 0, ang kanyang value is always 1. So, tatandaan natin yan lahat ng number, variable, kapag naka-raise into 0, ang value niya is always 1. Last law is power of a quotient. So, power of a quotient is similar to power of a product. Both numerator and denominator are raised to the indicated power. So, for example, x divided by y raised to the power of a. So, x raised to the power of a and y raised to the power of a, which, where is y is not equal to 0. So, see si y hindi siya equal to 0. So, for example, number 1. We have here 3x divided by 2y squared. So, ang gagawin natin is 3 squared. So, kailangan natin siyang and x squared. And then sa baba is 2 squared. So para siyang distributive property of multiplication. So i-distribute mo ang iyong power sa lahat ng factor na nasa loob ng um, division. So y squared. So that is 3 squared is equal to 9. 9 and then x squared. 9x squared divided by 2 squared is equal to 4y squared. So, yan na yung sagot natin. Another example, 2 divided by 3 squared. So, 2 squared over 3 squared. So, equals 2 times 2 equals, or 2 squared is equal to 2 times 2, so that is 4. And 3 squared, that is 3 times 3, is equal to 9. So, 4 over 9. And then, m raised to the power of 5, and then n squared, divided by p squared, q raised to the power of 4, to the 4th power. So, that is m5 multiplied by 4 and then n2 multiplied by 4 over p2 multiplied by 4 and then, kita ba? And then q4 multiplied by 4. Again, so m5 times 4 equals 20, and then n2 times 4 equals 8, 
over P. 2 times 4 equals 8. And then Q. 4 times 4 equals 16. So, ang sagot natin is M raised to the power of 20. N raised to the power of 8 divided by P raised to the power of 8 and Q raised to the power of 16. Okay, so that's all for today's video guys. Ang susunod nating lesson is multiplication and division of polynomials naman. Kasi alam na natin yung mga laws of exponents. See you in our next lesson. Bye guys!